Assalamu alaikum. Grade 8. How are you? Who am I? Your English teacher. What's my name? Faiza Nadeem. And what is the first question I'm going to ask? I'm going to ask whether all of you are hale and hearty or not. I am going to remind you about the significance of your academics. Right? This is what I usually do. But today, I'm going to start the lecture in a very different way. I'm not going to say anything. All I'm going to ask is to keep me in your prayers. Without further ado, let's start today's lesson. G grade 8. All the boys and the girls, what is the board telling you? The board is telling you that we are going to do unit 5 of your comprehension book, Oxford Progressive Reader. And this unit 5 is generally labeled as Railways, trains, so it's going to be quite interesting. And the specific comprehension that we are going to do today is the night mail, which is from page number 126 to page number 129. It's a poem, TK, which is written by W. H. Auden. And this poem speaks about a train which travels at night, which moves at night. So it's a night coach and it carries letters, not passengers, right? So it is a night coach which carries the letters. I'm going to do this only with you and then I'm going to move on forward, read the poem and then come back to this board and do the question and answers with you. So let's start the poem. Ji beta. अब मैं आपके लिए आपकी पोयम रीड करूंगी वो पोयम या पोम जो है वो आपकी स्क्रीन पे पॉप अप होगी आप मेरे साथ जरा उसको पहले एंजॉय करें थोड़ा सा समझें एंड देन वी विल मूव ऑन टू द रीडिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ठीक है दिस पोम द नाइट वेल फर्स्ट लेट्स रीड अबाउट द पोएट दिस पोम वाज रिटन इन द 1930s बाय डब्ल्यू एच ए ऑर्डन अबाउट द नाइट वेल द ट्रेन व्हिच कैरीड द मेल फ्रॉम लंदन towards north of Scotland. The border of the first line is between England and Scotland. The lowlands refer to the southern Scotland and highlands to the northern Scotland. And let's start the night mail. This is the night mail crossing the border, bringing the check and the postal order. Letters for the rich, letters for the poor, the shop at the corner and the girl next door, pulling a batak, a steady climb. The gradients against her, but she is on time. Past cotton grass and moorland boulder, shoveling white steam over her shoulder, snorting noisily as she passes. Silent miles of wind bent grasses. Birds turn their heads as she approaches, stay from the bushes and her blank-faced coaches. Sheepdogs cannot turn her course, they slumber on with paws across. In the farm she passes, no one wakes, but a jug in the bedroom gently shakes. Dawn freshens, the climb is done. Down towards the Glasgow, she descends. Towards the steam tug, yelping down the glade of cranes. Towards the fields of apparatus, the furnaces set on the dark plain like gigantic chessmen. All Scotland waits for her. In the dark lens beside the pale green sea locks. Locks kya hai? Lakes, thik hai? Scotland ka Scottish word. Men long for news. So what have you read so far? We have read about the train that is passing through the border of England towards the Scotland and nobody is aware of her arrival because all of them are down in deep slumber. Slumber kya hota hai? Neen. Let's move back to the poem. 
Letters of thanks, letters from banks, letters of joy from the girl and the boy, receipted bills and the invitation to inspect new stock or visit relation and applications for situations and timid lovers, declarations and gossip and gossip from all the nations, news circumstantial, news financial. Letters with holiday snaps to enlarge in. Letters with faces scrawled in the margin. Letters from uncles, cousins and aunts. Letters to Scotland from the south of France. Letters of condolences to highlands and lowlands. Notes from the overseas to the Hebrides. Written on paper of every hue. The pink, the violet, the white and the blue. The chatty and the catty, the boring, adoring, the cold, inofficial, and the hearts outpouring. Clever, stupid, short, and long, the typed and the printed, and the spelt all wrong. Thousands are still asleep, dreaming of terrifying monsters, asleep in working Glasgow, asleep in Wilsted, Edinburgh, asleep in Granite. Aberdeen. They continue their dreams and shall wake soon and long for letters and none will hear the postman's knock without a quickening of the heart. For who can bear to feel himself forgotten? Maza kiya na? Samaj bhi aai hai? Bohat interesting poem hai. It's all about the train's travel from London to the Scotland, what sort of letters it is carrying and how people await for the letters from their loved ones, right? So let's move on to reading for understanding. Your first question for reading for understanding is asking you to describe what kind of landscape does the train pass through in lines 1 to 10. The train is passing through towns and grasslands and open lands and then it climbs up towards a hill. This is how the train is passing. In lines 11 to 16, how can you tell it is a night by time? In 11 to 16, it is specifically described that the dogs are sleeping with their paws crossed, so the animals are in slumber and the people are asleep. They are not aware of the passing train. However, the jug shakes, right? You have heard it right now. In line 19, how do you know that Glasgow is a port city? Where do you get the steam tugs? Tugs are the engines, okay? Ships, ke, badi badi ships, ke, steam engine ships, okay? And glades of cranes, obviously glade is grassland, but there are cranes, 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 cranes. If it's a harbor, then there are cranes, okay? So this is how we know that Glasgow is a city at the harbor. Let's move on to the next question. The next question is asking you in line 25 to 44, list six different letters which are on the mail train. Which letters are? Letters of thanks, letter from bank, letters of joy, receipted bills, invitations and applications. Apart from that, there are a lot of more letters in that specific train coming from England to the Scotland and that are specified over there as well. In lines 45 to 58. What are the people dreaming about? The people are dreaming about the terrifying monsters. This is what the poet says. In lines 51 to 54, how do people react to the postman's or knock on the door? Obviously, they immediately respond with the quickening of their hearts. Okay? Because when you will get a letter from one of your loved ones, obviously, aapka adrenaline high ho jata hai. And you have expectation ka anticipation ki ek ajeeb si excitement hoti hai. So they receive those letters with excitement. Next is vocabulary. And in this vocabulary, you have to odd one out. Nikalna hai, yani ke jo sabse different hai, wo nikalna hai. Woods, bushes, hills and glades. Glades, bushes or woods. They are all type of plants. But hills jo hai, wo plant nahi hai, wo pahar hai. Hai? So this is the odd one out. Phir, Comfort, sympathy, job application, condolence. Condolence, job application, sympathy. These are all types of letters. Sympathy letter, condolence letter or job application. Lekin comfort letter aapne kabhi nahi suna hoga. 
सो दिस इज द ऑड वन आउट ठीक है अब नेक्स्ट इज फाइनेंशियल टू डू विद मनी इकोनॉमिक और फ्रेंडली इकोनॉमिक टू डू विद मनी और फाइनेंशियल आर ऑल रिलेटेड टू मनी सो फ्रेंडली इज द ऑड वन आउट color shade stripes in you u shade color these are all shades theek hai stripes hoti hai lines iska color se koi taluk nahi hota so this is the odd one out and scrawled illustrated scribbled and badly written scrawled and scribbled are both badly written illustrated is drawn illustrated is picture so illustrated is different and the rest of them are the same This was your vocabulary odd one out let's move on to the writing task Writing task pe aapko sabse pehla question diya gaya hai personification ka personification kya hoti hai personification wo hoti hai jab aap non living things ko humanly a living characteristics de de jaise ki unhone is poem pe likha hua hai is line mein likha hua hai that shoveling white stream over her shoulder shoveling is like throwing like this theek hai snow ko aap shovel karte ho na aise hi shovel se utha ke apne upar phekte ho to can trains do that no theek hai so this is the art of personification that is used over here ke uska jo exhaust tha uske upar se steam nikal rahi thi peeche ko ud rahi thi to yu mehsoos ho raha tha jaise train apni steam ko aise shovel karke peeche phek rahi hai to this is the personification ठीक है snorting noisily snort क्या होता है ये snort होता है तो can trains do that can they snort no sometimes animals do and sometimes humans do as well ठीक है तो वो जो आवाज थी train की छक 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 that was called as snorting ठीक है तो ये यहाँ पर पर्सोनिफिकेशन है क्योंकि ह्यूमन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लाइफ लाइक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स उस नॉन लिविंग ऑब्जेक्ट को दिया गया है सो दैट इज पर्सोनिफिकेशन और आपके ऊपर इसका क्या इम्पैक्ट हो रहा है आपको ऐसा लग रहा है कि ट्रेन जो है वो एक जीता जाता कैरेक्टर है और वो दौड़ रहा है दौड़ रहा है लोगों की जिंदगी में आसानियाँ पैदा करने के लिए अब आपने टू लाइन्स आइडेंटिफाई करनी है जिसमें यह पता चले कि ट्रेन वॉज मूविंग फास्ट तो वो है The gradients against her, but she is on time. Gradient, work, हालात सब कुछ उसके अगेंस्ट है लेकिन वो इतनी तेज और इतनी मेटिकुलस है कि वो अपने टाइम पर है पास्ट कॉटन ग्लास एंड मूल एंड बोल्डर कॉटन ग्लास और मूल एंड बोल्डर को उसने एक सेकेंड में क्रॉस कर लिया है तो दिस शोज दैट हाउ फास्ट द ट्रेन वॉज गोइंग नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू राइट टू लाइन्स विच शोज दैट द ट्रेन इज मूविंग स्लो वो टू लाइन्स कौन सी हैं बर्ड्स टर्न देर हेड्स एज शी अप्रोच जब वो आ रही है तो सारी की सारी बर्ड्स आराम से बैठ के उसको देख रही है इसका मतलब वो स्लो है जब भी तो बर्ड्स आराम से बैठ के उसको स्टेय कर रही हैं स्टे फ्रॉम द बुशेज एट अ ब्लैंक फेस्ड कोचेस ब्लैंक फेस्ड कोचेस का मतलब है कि ऑब्वियसली देर इज नो ह्यूमन बींग इन साइड एंड द ट्रेन कैन नॉट शो इमोशंस ऑन इट सेल्फ एज वेल तो द कोचेस आर एम टी एंड दे आर स्टेयरिंग एट हर कम्फर्टेबली विच शोज द Speed is very slow of the train at that specific time. Two lines जो rhyme करती हैं. In farm she passes, but no one wakes. But a jug in the bedroom gently shakes. ये भी आपको बता रही है कि train कितना तेज दौड़ रही थी. कोई जाग नहीं रहा, लेकिन jug जो है वो उसकी momentum से, उसकी acceleration से हिल रहा है. ठीक है? Wakes or shakes. दो rhyming last words. और फिर आपने एक single line बतानी है, जिसके अंदर words within the line rhyme कर रहे हो. उसकी एग्जाम्पल है द छाटी द खैटी द बोरिंग द अडोरिंग ठीक है छाटी एंड खैटी बोरिंग एंड अडोरिंग एक ही लाइन में चार अल्फाज जो दो दो आपस में राइम कर रहे हैं लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द राइटिंग टास्क इज लेफ्ट लेट्स डू दैट लास्ट क्वेश्चन आपको ये कह रहे हैं कि आपने तीन हाइफिनेटेड एड्रेक्टिव आइडेंटिफाई करनी है और उनकी मीनिंग्स डिस्क्राइब करनी है सबसे पहले है कॉटन क्लास This shows that the grass was as soft as cotton. ठीक है Next is blank faced, without expressions. Since there was no human being inside the train, 
तो द ट्रेन वॉज मूविंग ऑन विदाउट एक्सप्रेशन एंड विंड बेंड बेंट विद द फोर्स ऑफ द विंड ठीक है जो भी चीज यहाँ पर डिस्क्राइब की गई है वो ऐसी है जो हवा की तेजी से बेंड हो गई है तो ये एट्रैक्टिव इसके लिए यूज किया गया है क्विकली रिकेपिटुलेट कर ले आज के लेसन को वॉट इट बी टू वी डेड यूनिट फाइव रेल वेज इन जनरल एंड नाइट मेल इन स्पेसिफिक वी डेड द पोएम वी एंजॉय इट अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी डेड इट्स रीडिंग फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी हैव फाउंड द ऑड मैन आउट एंड वी हैव फाउंड अ लॉट ऑफ personifications rhymes and non rhymes words from the poem i hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and i hope that you will reread the poem enjoy it again and do all the question answers pakistan ko mujhe sabko apni duo mein yaad rakhna haste khel ke rehna aur padhai pe bahut focus rakhna jab tak hum dobara milenge tab tak ke liye allah hafiz yeah.